well, had a little setback. Um, if I if I actually sleep for three hours and not exercise my lungs with my lung exerciser, um, my lungs stick together and I drop into the low oxygen range um, and it can get a little frightening but for the most part um, it happens then if I get up and walk around I don't have enough air for walking around but but it, when I sit down I can get it to recover back up into the 90s you know just look horrible <laughs> But my face, the steroids, oh my gosh. Well, you know, whatever. I'll take the steroids and get the face that just really pushes out. I'll take it. <laughs> the steroids help. Um, anyway, so I'm waiting for my next breathing treatment to come in. My morning chest x-ray to see how the third day on rem remdes... Revere, Desivere, Remdesivere. Uh, see how that's helping. <coughs> and uh, how all my blood tests are, if my immune system's up. And if they're going to let me go home, um, we'll see if that's going to happen today or not. And the nurse said that uh, I might be needing oxygen at home. So we'll see. But, uh, hopefully I won't, but if I do, well, I'll do what they say. They know what they're doing here. They have hundreds of people. They've been through it all year. They've got it down. And, uh, just like my earlier videos, get in here early. Get in here to the emergency room quickly. Don't wait. Don't sit at home. I almost waited too long. I actually waited a day too long. If I had waited one more, it, it would not have been good. Um, silent pneumonia. And it's a different kind of pneumonia. It's not water in your lungs. It's your lungs sticking together. So get in here. Let the professionals look. Check you out. They've seen a lot of it. Um, take care, everyone.